Let me show you what this bad boy can do. Okay, so today we're going to replace mechanical water pump seal. There is a weep hole. I don't know if you can see where my finger is. It's down here underneath the water pump. It is leaking oil and coolant. So I already pulled the, the cover off and I've got the impeller nut loose. I'm going to take that off. And I always inspect the impeller, it actually looks in good shape. And there's your mechanical water pump seal. So I bought myself a kit. I uh, decided to do the upgrade with the, uh, the billet impeller. I've got my new seal. This actually goes uh, behind the mechanical water pump seal. And actually I think that's what's leaking. It's about I'm going to have to replace both. So. I'm going to show you a little trick with a slide hammer, see if that works, and if that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to um, slowly cut that out. Uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, first I need to get that seal out. Right, so I'm taking two screwdrivers, got in here. Pop that off, work the spring, pull that out. Get the plastic stuff out of here. The idea is to get everything out of here that you can. So then you can get to uh, And you can get to this, and I want to drill a hole in that, and use my uh, dent puller and pull that out. And be careful you don't drill too far. You want to drill into the seal behind it. Tip of the threads of my screws are already worn out, so I might have to put a new screw on here. Wish the dent puller trip would work. Got that loose. Let's see if I can't get this. Out. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Set to drill a couple holes around the perimeter. You can see there, and then I just grabbed it in with a screwdriver and pulled that out. So now you can see what the inside looks like, and then that, uh, i to get my mess out of here. And then I gotta pull that uh, rubber O-ring out. There we go, just came right out. Make sure you got the uh, orientation right when you put this back in, the flat side towards you. And I'm gonna grab some air and blow that all out, clean it up really nice. But yeah, that. Uh, that water pump seal is shot. All right, so I got my new seal. It's gonna go in the flat side towards me. 
The other side goes towards the engine. So I'm gonna grab a little oil, put some oil around it so it slides in nice. I'm going to take a 11 16 inch socket because I believe that fits right in there. And we're going to go ahead and push this on. Now, nobody said this was an easy job. Grab just a little bit smaller socket because I think I'm putting the edge. There we go. If you can see that in there, let me get you in a little closer. You can see I got that seal flush with the surface of the inside of the casting. And now I'm going to put the mechanical water pump seal on. Alright, so when you install the, the seal, um, usually a plastic PVC pipe comes with the kit. I thought I had it, but this is actually for a 700. That's not going to fit, so I'm going to have to find a, a socket that will go around there. And that will just press right in. So I found a one inch socket actually fits over the top of this. You wanna make sure it doesn't hit the side of that so it'll drop right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and install that. And then just tap it in. Top. All right. There. Got her nice and flush. Now it's time to put that impeller on. It does come with this little seal. I'll go on first. Impeller. A new uh, washer that goes on there. And you just want to snug that up until there's a little bit of pressure on there. You gotta make sure it's pressure on there, it's tight. Make sure it doesn't spin. Now I have to clean the surfaces off of here and then Put my water pump cover back on, hook everything up, and that's how you do a mechanical water pump seal on a Polaris 500. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Like always, till next time.